Hello dear student, welcome in KRT Arts, BH Commerce and AM Science College, Nasik, which is popularly known as KTHM College, Nasik, for the academic year 2020-21. First of all, I would like to congratulate all of you because now you are the part of MSc second inorganic chemistry class. Student, I think now you all are well known that how to handle this COVID-19 situation. So the base formula to handle this situation is stay home, stay safe. Well, myself is Vya Shinde, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, KTHM College, Nasi. Student, today we will discuss about our theory paper, its introductory part and its syllabus discussion. So let's start. The theory paper is Inorganic Reaction Mechanism having course number CHI 331. This course is for 4 credit having 48 lectures and 12 tutorials. Tutorials are nothing but continuous evaluation Sorry, Continuous Internal Assessment. This course is for 100 marks, 34 college and 74 university. Student, this course is divided into two sections. So let's see one by one. Section first is nothing but inorganic reaction mechanism. This section is for two credit having 24 lectures and six tutorials. This course is for 50 marks. Section second is nothing but photochemistry and reactions of coordinated ligand for two credit, 24 lectures and six tutorials. And again for this section is for 50 marks. Let's see the introduction of our syllabus. As we have already seen that section first is nothing but inorganic reaction mechanism for two credit. Let's see the, its points one by one. So the first point is types of mechanism. Under these types of mechanism, we have to study basic concept of stability and liability, HSAB principle, chillate effect, classification of inorganic reactions etc so the next point is substitution in square planar complexes here we have to study trans effect trans series and application of trans effect so let's move towards third point third point is substitution in octahedral complexes here we have to study some kinds of mechanism that is SN1 mechanism, SN2 mechanism and SN1CB mechanism. Also, we have to study here steric effect on substitution, isomerization and racemization in coordination compounds. Also, we have to study electron transfer reactions. As we know that there are so many electron transfer reactions like one electron transfer reaction two electron transfer reaction we have to cover all the electron transfer reaction here and the last point from this section is inner and outer sphere reactions so student this was our syllabus for section first let's move towards section number second Section number second is nothing but photochemistry and reactions of coordinated ligand. Here we have to highlight on photochemistry of metal complexes. Under the photochemistry of metal complexes, we have to study photochemical reaction, prompt and delayed reactions, quantum yield, recapitulation of fluorescence and phosphorescence, photochemical reactions, irradiating at DD and CT band transitions in metal metal bonded systems photochemical reactions involving chlorophyll we have to cover all these points under this topic so the next point is reactions of coordinated ligands here we have to study three types of reaction 
first is non chelate forming reactions second chelate forming reactions and third one chelate modifying reactions and the third point that is last point from section second and from our syllabus is other reaction types this point is very easy among all the syllabus and we have to discuss here sorry we have to discuss here oxidative addition reductive elimination methyl migration and carbonyl insertion so student this was our whole syllabus and we have to cover all the syllabus point by point okay let's move towards learning objective these are our learning objective so the first learning objective is to study different types of inorganic reactions second to study the substitution in square planar and octahedral complexes third objective is to study the reaction transfer mechanism from one coordination compound to other and photochemical reactions of coordination compound student from our whole syllabus it is clear that our inorganic reaction mechanism subject is totally related with coordination compounds so it is very important to know some basic concept regarding with coordination compounds so student let's see one by one some basic concepts okay so first is coordination compound what is mean by coordination compound the coordination compound is the compound contain coordinate bond typically between central metal atom and a number of other atoms or groups okay what is mean by coordination compound it is a compound containing coordinate bond between central metal atom and a number of atoms or other groups this is the example of coordination compound co and h36 cl2 and this is its structure this coordination compound containing a central metal atom and a group or atom it is called as ligand and this ligand is joint with central metal atom by coordinate bond so why this coordination compounds are formed the answer is very easy because coordination compound contains transition metals and the transition metal has empty valence shell orbitals that can easily accept lone pair of electron from ligand here ligand is act as lewis bases okay so this is one of the example the species uh, in square bracket is also called as coordination sphere or coordination entity so co and h36 is nothing but coordination sphere or coordination entity and this cl2 is nothing but your counter ion okay so student what we seen here coordination what is mean by coordination compounds and why coordination compounds are formed this is its example so let's move towards next slide what is mean by ligand so student what is mean by ligand ligand is any type of species atoms or ions which is able to donate lone pair of electron to central metal atom to form coordinate bond with it what is mean by ligand the ligand is any atom species or molecules which is able to donate lone pair of electron to form coordinate bond with it let's see types of ligands what are the types of ligand there are three main types of ligand first is monodentate ligand this monodentate ligand is also called as chelating non chelating ligand next type is bidentate ligand and the third type is polydentate ligand this bidentate and polydentate ligands are also called as chelating ligand because they are able to form chelate complex these are some examples of ligand let's see uh, in nh3 in first example only one nitrogen atom is able to donate lone pair of electron to central metal atom and to form coordinate bond with 
it so it is monodentate ligand also in second example that is water h2o only oxygen is able to donate lone pair of electrons so it is also called as monodentate ligand both are non chelating ligand this is the another example that is ch2 ch2 ns2 ns2 that is ethylene diamine in this example this two nitrogens are available to donate lone pair of electron to form coordinate bond with central metal atom so it is called as bidentate ligand and also called as chelating ligand and uh, edta is nothing but ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid it is one of the polydentate ligand it is also called as chelating ligand next concept is coordination number the coordination number is very simple definition that is number of ligands attached to central metal atom is nothing but coordination number okay so here we have to see what is meant by ligands types of ligands and coordination number so let's move towards werner theory in 1893 werner produced a theory of metal in which he explained the primary as well as secondary valency according to werner primary valency is nothing but oxidation state and secondary valency is nothing but coordination number let's see the example co nh36 cl2 that is hexaamine cobalt third chloride this is its structure that is hexaamine cobalt third chloride according to werner primary valency is nothing but oxidation state see this is the primary valency which is shown by dotted lines it is also called as oxidation state it is ionizable and satisfied by negative ligands also primary valency is non directional non directional means it do not explain geometry of the compound this this was about primary valency and about secondary valency secondary valency is also called as coordination number coordination number and secondary valency is non ionizable which is shown by wedge line and satisfied by negative or neutral ligands okay this is nothing but our basic concept regarding with werner's theory hmm? see uh, what is the coordination number as i have already told in last slide coordination number are nothing but number of ligands attached to central metal atom co nh3 six here coordination number is six because six ammonia are attached to cobalt that is central metal atom okay student this was our basic and introductory part about our theory paper that is inorganic reaction mechanism so thank you and we will discuss our main syllabus point by point from next lecture thank you